knew John since I was a young fella, so I knew he'd, he was going to go places, so I knew I had to get on board with him. Join West Cock Distillers, and we've, he's had a lot of success, and that's not the only reason, but you know, I like that in the fishing as well, I had to change, you know. It changed the career, so the three of us came together, and it was a good idea with three friends, and you know, it, it's, you know, when you work well together, and it, it, it's just great, and across from there, you know. Uh, I did my leaving start and then I started fishing. Uh, I gave about five years as a day hand. Then I started fishing uh, skippering boats for other guys and eventually I went along and bought my own trawler. I used to be a fisherman before we started West Cork Distillers. Uh, Went from being a shallow water fisherman to a deep sea fisherman. Then we ventured into making whiskey. Started West Cork Distillers. To be perfectly frank, the genesis of the idea is quite blurred. The three of us have been friends all our lives and so the conversations roll into each other and that, that was the start of West Cork Distillers. I wasn't happy fishing at the time. Uh, fishing was getting harder and harder. We were having to go out further and longer and I had a young family so I needed to change and uh, it was, it was time for a change, so uh, why not? <laughs> yeah, I remember quite clear what my thoughts were when John approached me because we had totally different careers. John was in college being educated. I was working hard, so I knew when we joined up to be a good match. Um, myself, Dean and Jer have been friends all our lives. Um, the two boys are actually first cousins, um, so we've known each other since we were kids. Um, a lot of it would be down to um, playing football together, um, I suppose drinking, as underage drinkers would be a, a, a very a vivid memory. And doing all the things that young fellas should, probably shouldn't be doing. The idea of the business was um, to start up a distillery in West Cork. Uh, West Cork would be famed for artisan food and beverage production, so there was a natural fit there. I definitely recommend they go to Union Hall. It's a beautiful little village and it's by the sea. And I'd say if you go there in the summer, uh, if it's not raining, like, brilliant place to be in. There's a great buzz around the place as well. And there's the festival as well in the summer, they should be doing that. They do that every year and it brings a lot of people to the village. into physical activities such as uh, running and kayaking. Uh, I think West Cork is the place for it really because of all the scenery and all the, the coastal area. Like it's uh, perfect for kayaking, especially in the summer. But weather permitting in the winter, I don't get to go kayaking as much. But most of the time it's basically just going to the gym and uh, uh, do my runs at the weekends when I'm off work. And yeah, it's good for uh, outdoor activities, especially for water sports. So West Cork's the place to be. <laughs> West Cork is famous for many things, um, as well as its great food and food producers. It's a great place to go out and eat and 
Um, it's a great place for hill walking. There's lots of beautiful scenery and hills. It's a great place for hill walking and any outdoor activities. Initially when we set up there was a knowledge gap in terms of um, manufacturing capability. Um, we were very fortunate in that we got two excellent um, people to help us, Dr um, Barry Walsh and um, Frank McCarty. Um, we sort of um, tapped them for everything they had in terms of knowledge and experience, which was very extensive, and then sort of brought our own slant to it as well. Um, so we used existing experience, but also embraced um, the culture of arts and food that is inherent to West Cork. Oh, the greatest kick I get is seeing a finished bottle running down the line and getting out of container and heading out to all these places like Japan or the United States. And one of, I suppose, better again is going out to those places and seeing our product on the shelves.